Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So, hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So, before getting into this, so I want to show you that I'm going to prepare the joy of computing using Python preparation MCQs, guys. I hope that will it will be a better preparation for your final exam before attempting the final exam. These practice MCQs probably help helpful for you to get an idea about the topics so these are not just content and these are mcqs completely nptel based mcqs guys completely based on nptel syllabus only there is no nonsense and no outside syllabus come purely nptel oriented so no deviations just nptel oriented and many people who are viewing this uh, video are probably students and it may be a semester subject so as a student offer we are giving for just 89 rupees guys no one are preparing this MC, uh, mcqs like this that to nptl oriented mcqs no one are preparing so we are preparing just for just 89 rupees and not only that for this 89 rupees you can get not only this single course you can get all the courses that we upload so here many i have uploaded many preparation videos so you can all get all these videos for just 89 rupees per month only so in order to access this click the link in the description or you can directly go to our channel page and beside the subscribe button there is join button so click on that you will get three types of packs 119 is for if you if i upload any live videos and if you want this live videos also you can click on you can select 119 pack or if you want only recorded videos you can go go through this 89 pack and click on join and make payment so the, that's it you will become members of our channel and guys another thing is that if you choose 119 pack you can get benefits of all the above two packs also that means it is three in one pack or if you want only recorded videos you can join 89 per month pack any of these two is accessible for you so many people have already joined this channel guys so these are the top 8 members so actually many people have joined so if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask me in the comment section guys if it is your semester subject and many students and your any many classmates are doing this course please tell them to join in this membership so that they can also be able to access this mptl practice mcqs so do join fast guys uh, the exam dates are approaching so I hope you take good decision and use this opportunity to the great extent so if you have any doubts you can ask me guys if payment is not happening then you can first of all try this in your mobile then it will definitely happen if it is not happening in mobile then you can use your laptops or PCs so try to do with UPI and if not then you can use your debit card so let's go to the programming solutions now so let's see the first question now guys I have also made a video on quiz assignment you can go through that so this is programming assignment 1 so now I will show you the code here the function we have used is square t t means tuple so that it accepts only one argument and returns a tuple containing similar elements given in the tuple t and it squares in sequence so i will sh share you the code now it is very simple code probably just three lines so guys this is the code so def it is uh, definition uh, defining the function square t it takes an argument only one argument that is tuple so here i am assigning this tuple and the operation square operation to x and i am going to print this x so copy this guys do carefully and this should be within the indentation of this function don't write this parallel to this function guys it, these two lines should be within this def function square t function so let's pa paste it here in the compiler interface so i will zoom this for you so 
so this is the code you have to type it guys so very small code so so this is the code so note it down fast guys you can pass the video here and you can note it or you can take a screenshot whichever is possible for you so hope you have noted it down so i am zooming back again let's click on compile and run button to check public test cases passed or not so you can see every status is passed here you can see that every status is passed 4 by 4 passed so our solution is correct let's click on submit button to check public i mean private test cases so there are four private test cases and all are passed so our solution is 100% correct for first question so let's move on to the second one now so second question given a string s write a function replace v the function name is replace v that accepts a string and replaces the occurrence of three consecutive vowels within that string so make sure to return and print the answer string so I will show you the second question code now so this is first question code I will show you the second one now so guys here it is so copy from here to here so guys type it uh, carefully because even a single mistake can cost you the program and you will get errors so indentation is important here guys so it should be within the def function i mean replace v function these three uh, lines and the if state if statement should be within this for loop and these four lines should be within the for if statement and the return should be in, in the same line with the for loop and print statement should be in the same line with function name so this is the indentation you have to follow so hope you have noted it so now i am going to show you that on the interface of the compiler so let's see it here i will zoom this for you So note it down guys. So this is the code. You can pass the video here or you can take screenshot. So guys, hope you have noted this video, I mean the code now. So I am zooming back. So let's see whether it executes or not by clicking on compile and run button so here you can see that 4 by 4 test cases passed so our solution is correct let's see the private test case execution also whether they passed or not so here 4 test cases are passed private test cases so our solution for second question also 100% correct let's move on to the final question of this so third programming assignment so write a program that takes list l as an input and shifts all zeros in the list l towards the right by maintaining the order of the list also print the new list so guys this is the code you can see it i will zoom this for you If you're not uh, getting it clearly, I will show you in the uh, notepad also. So guys, this is the code, clear one. You can note it down here. Sorry, you can note it down here now. This is the second question code actually. So this is the third one. So the print statement should be with, with the parallel to this for loop. 
and this should be within the if one and if and else should be in the same line and these two should if and else should be within the for loop and n dot append is also within this l else loop I mean else statement so guys do uh, follow this indentation otherwise you can get error so hope you have noted it down so now i will show you on the interface of the compiler so this is the code guys so hope you have noted it down i am zooming back i am clicking on compile and run button so you can see 4 by 4 test cases passed status also showing passed so let's click on the submit button to check private test cases executed or not exactly we have got the answers so our third question is also 100% correct so guys hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends also so as i said you can get lot of benefit regarding this practice of the nptl based mcqs as a better preparation for your final exam so if you want to join in this for just you can get that for 89 rupees only so guys please uh, tell your friends and recommend them to join in this channel so that if uh, more people more students and more classmates of you join then i can get good encouragement to do the better videos so hope you do that and join in our join in our course and also make your friends and classmates also join in this so if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section i will be available for you so that's it guys for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you